you know, in my experience, the families with the most baggage in the closet, you know, with the most unresolved issues, with the biggest fundamental problems with their relationship with each other, have been the, the ones who are most deeply religious. And I remember friends in school, and especially in middle school, who were gay and who were terrified that their parents would find out. I mean, they were terrified. There was one girl who used to um, cut herself to relieve that kind of terror and pain because she knew damn well she wasn't going to be acceptable to her family. And there was one boy who didn't show up for school as usual. And when he finally did, he found out that he'd been in hospital because he tried to kill himself more than once. This is in middle school. Okay? These kids are about 14, 15 years old. I remember thinking, this is, this is fear through change on the parents' behalf, which is amplified by the religion, legitimized by the religion, and then passed down to the kids, which ends up as this really deep, deep scar tissue that hurts the kid. They seemed to have the entire weight of the world on their shoulders, and it was terrible to see because it's like watching a puppy limp down the street after it's just been beaten up. It just breaks your heart, you know? I don't understand the mentality that would make a parent turn on their kid like that. I really don't. Because they're not, it's not something you choose. All right, like, say somebody's born with freckles, okay, and their parents are going, oh, no, why did this, you know, why did this happen? You know, why are they doing this to me? They're not doing anything to you. That's just the way that they are. That's the way they were born, and there's nothing wrong with it. That's not about you, and it's not a phase. That's just the way they are. And if you can't accept them for that, and I mean completely accept them, not just tolerate them, and put up with them. But if you can't be their friend, you, d you don't really have a relationship with your kid. And don't be surprised if later on in life maybe they don't call you when they have a problem that they need to talk about because they already know from early experience that you're not their friend. And I can hardly believe that this is even an issue nowadays. Because quite frankly, in my books, if somebody doesn't want to reproduce, you know, is gay, well, that is really good for the environment and for the world in general because quite frankly, planet's full, okay? We don't need any more people. We've got more than enough, more than we can cope with. We've got a surplus of unwanted, neglected children, and not enough good parents, things won't always be this way. You know, you're not always going to be discriminated against. Because things are changing really quickly. And if you speak up about it, they will change faster. Because you need more people saying that this kind of discrimination is not socially acceptable behavior.